Hey guys, Tony here. I want to say hello to you. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video. Listen, I just want to do another video. I did a video a couple of days ago, or yesterday, matter of fact, and for some reason it didn't record. Actually, I could hear the video, and actually when I played it, it played, uh, but for some reason something happened and uh, people couldn't actually hear what was being said. The volume was really low. And let me think, let me check this while I'm, I'm saying that and make sure I have my volume up. Like I said, I don't know exactly what was going on the other day. But anyway, that being said, I was talking about uh, Vima. Now, I did a video a couple of days ago about Vima, and uh, seems like somebody got the impression that I was being critical of Vima and uh, passing judgment on Vima and the leadership. And if you go back and look at that original video, I said throughout that video, I, I was not being critical of Vima. Uh, I was not uh, being judgmental of Vima, nor the leadership, nor the distributors, because I don't know Vima. I don't know the leadership. I really don't know the products. Uh, again, for those of you that feel like I was being critical, go back and check that video out. What I did say is you basically hold judgment on this because we don't know what happened. The FTC has said that Vima is an illegal pyramid scheme. We really don't know what that entails. Uh, quite possibly, and I think I may have said this in the other uh, video, quite possibly you could have distributors in the field making claims that the leadership and the company do not support. And then there could be a situation where it may be something that the leadership is doing that the distributors don't don't know anything about. And there you have a, a, a very uh, bad situation. So we don't know exactly what happened. We do know temporarily Vima is shut down. Now, uh, as I say that, I'm going to go to my second point. Um, there's a possibility, possibility that uh, Vima could recover. Uh, there have been other great companies. Take, for instance, I think Amway. Uh, they've been sued before, uh, they've been looked at so many times, but they've been able to weather the storm. So Vima may weather the storm, Vima may bounce back, we don't know. But in, during this process, going through the, the court system, I would just encourage the, the distributors to learn from the mistakes. Now, I don't know if it was the mistakes of the, the distributors or the leadership, but learn from these mistakes and be able to, to move on to the next opportunity. Third thing I want to talk about is, uh, and we've said this, some of us have said this so many times, um, there is no security in a job. Well, that is true. There is no security in a job. You may have a job that you feel secure in and then just one day somebody comes in and tells you, you got to go. Well, the same thing happens in this profession. This is proof positive that uh, there's no security when you build your foundation or your income around a product or a service or a company. Um, nobody saw this coming. Coming, Vima didn't. Now maybe some of the leadership had the inside scoop, but I'm quite sure many of the distributors did not know what was going on, don't know what happened. But they come in and shut them down, and again, it may be temporarily, but they have built their organization or their income around this product, this service, and this company. And I just encourage anybody to, whenever you're gonna build, build or brand you, uh, build people. Don't just build a company. Don't just uh, build a product or your company around a product. Build people, brand yourself. Because when things like this happen, if you have developed yourself, if you develop people, then whenever something like this does happen, you can move to the next opportunity and be able to rebuild. But sometimes when the, things like this happens, when people have just built their whole foundation and, and really haven't learned the business, then their income stops and they don't know what to do. And this leads me to the, to the last point. Uh, and I just mentioned that. Learn your company and your products. Learn your company and your products. And I could almost guarantee that most of us, when we first got into the profession of network marketing, we took the advice of our leadership, our, our mentors, our uh, sponsors, and we signed up without actually looking at the terms of use, terms of service, really didn't know how the compensation plan worked, didn't know how we got paid, which really doesn't make sense if you think about it, didn't know how we got paid, really didn't understand the structure, but we put our money in there, and the first thing we begin to do, and I'm, I'm sure I can get an amen from somebody, is follow the direction of our leadership that tells us build, 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 recruit, 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 and the problem with that is if you have a team that only focuses on recruit, 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 then you're going to have a team full of robots who really don't know how to react when something happens. Again, um, 
I can only speak for myself. The opportunities I looked at, many of them, I did not have a clue how we're getting paid, really what the, the, um, the, the products were about. But think about this. If you're going to run a business, you ought to know exactly what your product is. You ought to know where, exactly what your, your services are. You ought to especially know what you're going to get paid and how you're going to get paid. A lot of times these uh, network marketing companies, their uh, compensation plans are so complex that you have no clue. I remember a guy telling me uh, a couple of, about a year ago, he asked me, uh, one organization I was with, he asked me, he said, so how do you get paid? I said, well, let me, uh, let me get my uh, sponsor on the phone. He said, no, no, that doesn't make sense. He said, if you go to McDonald's and you ask the guy at the register, how much do you get paid? The guy at the register is not going to say, let me go get my, ma my manager. He's going to be able to tell you exactly how much you earn, how much he earns, and when he gets paid. But in network marketing, many of us will join a company, have no clue how we're going to get paid, when we're going to get paid, can't explain the compensation plan, and that really doesn't make sense. So we don't take the time to learn the business. And I may have just said this, but learn your company, learn your products, learn how to build a team. Don't just focus on recruiting. Build a team. Develop people. Because if you develop people, if you brand yourself and develop people, when things like this happen, again, you'll be able to recover. So I want to leave you this with this. Somewhere on this uh, video, I'm going to put my um, email address. And for those of you who are in Vima, or you quite possibly know somebody in Vima, uh, I'd like for them to come on my radio show and basically just talk about the situation. I'm not here again to pass judgment on Vima. I don't know exactly what happened. But I just want to see where they are with this uh, situation, uh, what their outlook is with this situation. Are they going to stick with Vima? And again, this is not to throw mud at Vima. I just want to hear from some of the representatives, even possibly the, the leadership. Uh, quite possibly the, the leadership can't talk about it, so if they're in courts. But, uh, but those of you who may be in the field, because think about this. It not only affects the distributors, but think about the people who work in the offices, the people who are delivery drivers, uh, the, the uh, fulfillment company. You know, all these people have to, you know, find another way to make some money. So, again, if you're interested in coming on my radio show, Success with Tony D, you'll find it on Blog Talk Radio. Um, again, I'll put my email address here. You just uh, send me an email. Uh, just put radio show interview at the subject line, and I'll give you a call, and we'll arrange to bring you on the show and talk about this situation. And uh, you all go out there and make something happen. Have a great time. Learn your company. Learn your products. And have a blessed day. You all be blessed.